Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell laptop, and in this video here I'll be doing the battery replacement. At the same time to show you the touchpad, what happened to it. So I believe that the battery underneath the touchpad is swollen. So it's swell, it bulging, and it pushes the um, the it pushes the touchpad from underneath and that is why you can see my touchpad is sticking out if you can take a closer look and it's prying the the touchpad is coming out just like that so when you press it right click left click it is not clicking or whatsoever so in other words i need to change the touchpad the same time to show you the battery is destroying the touchpad all right so let me show you the model number this is the Dell XPX, and if you take a closer look, um, it's manufactured in 2016, and the model is P56F on this here. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the back cover. The first thing you need to do is to remove the two screws, and the two screws are hidden underneath the uh, service tag. I do not have the uh, battery with me at the moment, but I like to just um, take things apart, at least to show you the step-by-step -step on how to uh, change out the battery. Uh, at the same time, maybe take a look at the uh, touchpad as well. So uh, this is the Torx screws. I'm using a T5 uh, screwdriver to remove the Torx screws. Alright, once you remove all the screws, you can start peeling the back plate. I'm just use my finger to tuck underneath and just pull and remove the, uh, the back plate. Now at this point here, you can see that the battery is hard and there's a lump on, on the battery. It looks like sw swollen. I'm not sure if what angle you can see on the camera. But hopefully you can see like it is uh, like a detergent, you know, that little individual pack uh, is swollen, is pushing the, the touchpad underneath it. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the battery by pulling the connector down towards your body. Uh, there's no safety pin or anything that holds the connector. It just a slide in uh, to install and slide out to remove. Now let's go ahead and remove the screws. They are Phillips screws holding onto the battery. Okay, once you have all the screws removed and you can uh, just lift the battery up and this is how you can uh, replace the entire battery. Uh, to look for the model here is 4G VGH. I will have the battery link in the description below. Click on the description below. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement battery. Okay, so let's put this on the side. I'll just do a quick explanation to you and see what is happening here. The uh, This is the M.2 SSD drive. This here has all your information, windows, programs, everything is in this uh, M.2 drive. Uh, these are the two RAMs. You can actually upgrade the RAM by putting 
uh, let's see how big is this RAM this is 4 gigabytes so you can do 8 and 8 I believe this is a 4 and 4 so it's 8 gigabytes you can upgrade to 8 and 8 or 16 to 16 which is the 32 uh, this is the CPU fan both of them it's quite dusty uh, you can always come and get the A can duster just dust it off A spray them and to get rid of the uh, the dirt and the uh, the um, you know the, the linens and, and all this dirty stuff all right so we want to pay attention to the uh, touchpad now let's see if the touchpad is still clickable right now it is clickable uh, but it looks like it's very loose so the clicker is comes from this metal part right here it doesn't seem like I have a way to tighten up the uh, the touchpad It, it looks like I don't have to replace the touchpad I know that it was pushed in the past and you can see the gap and you can actually see my uh, finger on the other side of the uh, uh, the touchpad but the clicker is still clicks so I believe and I think that if you install the, the, the new battery which is flat and the clicker would just work so I apologize we are not going to replace the the touchpad it looks like it will work with the new battery install uh, because if I replace the touchpad I might actually have to remove the entire motherboard to get underneath this section right here to remove the touchpad since the clicker still clicks and I think it will just work just fine so in this video here we're just going to talk about the battery replacement and how the battery is swollen uh, this is the time where you want to replace the, the battery now um, If your battery died prematurely, I can tell you one thing how it happened and almost certainly 90% why the battery died so prematurely because you have the charger plugged in meaning that you have the uh, the adapter the charger plugged into your outlet and then you're charging it 24 7 so this would actually make the battery die very prematurely they, they these are the smart battery they have a cycle counts on the battery if you leave it plugged in all the time 24 7 um, then this is what happened to the battery so what I recommend you to do is when you want to use the computer you plug in your charger when you're done using it maybe at the end of the evening at night time unplug it just leave the charger unplugged let the computer shut down stay by itself the next day plug it back in use it when it's done unplug it all right so i hope that my explanation explained to you how the battery has gone bad um, and also try to help you on how to replace the battery now if you find this video is helpful please give me a like i really appreciate you for liking the video and do me a favor please comment below tell me how did you do with your repair uh, were you able to change out the battery by yourself by following my video uh, if yes comment below tell me I'd like to hear from you because that makes me uh, motivated and and uh, makes me correct myself to do um, future videos uh, a better future videos for you alright again subscribe like until next time I wish you good luck with your battery replacement take care now bye bye